Hey guys, it's Christina Sullins. I'm a fitness coach, an entrepreneur, and a mom of two little girls, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. So today I'm taking you inside my shoe closet, actually inside my whole closet, and sharing with you how I organize my life. This has kind of um, become a new obsession. I'm one of those crazy, busy people that loves to just do a lot of things and loves to go, go, go. So organizing for me isn't really about organizing. Like I would never say I'm an organized person or I would never say like, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just never been one of those people like, you know, everything's like an unorganized hot mess, but you know where it's at. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like if I turn this camera around right now and you've seen um, all the notes and notepads and jewelry and it's like this all over the place, right? But you know when you're looking for that one necklace, you just know where it is and you can grab it. <laughs> but here's what it is about for me. It is about um, clutter is stress to me. So I don't like to have clutter. I don't have to like to have a lot of, of anything that I don't use. So I like to purge and sort and have things displayed in a way that makes me feel happy. It makes me feel um, good. And it is right in front at eye level where I need it to be. The things that I use. Um, on a regular basis. So if you want to go in your closet right now, we could do this together live. I will wait if you want to go in your closet and bring your phone with you. So you're going to need a couple of bins or baskets, laundry baskets, big shopping bags, um, anything like that. Literally, I want you to take this video and like do it. Now I'm, I'm sharing with you um, my shoes but you can do this for all areas of your house. And I do do it for all areas of my house. Um, so I'm kind of crazy like that now. But it's like it's like kind of like fun to me. I don't know. I think I have issues anymore. Um, okay, so the first thing is you have to purge. Purging is good. Purging is fun. You don't want to be a hoarder. You don't want to hold on to a lot of pairs of shoes. And, and I'm saying that and you're looking behind me and you're going, whoa whoa right <laughs> now keep in mind before you're like wait a minute I don't have a wall of shoes like that we've only been in this house for a year and a half before that <clears throat> my closet in my bedroom was super tiny it was one of those closets that you opened and there was like you literally could walk in there with like maybe one other person and then you had to walk right back out right so I had like two walls as the door would open and what I did, and this is a tip if you have a really small closet and you have a lot of shoes, is I would buy those those hanging shoe racks from Target that fit like, I think, 10 pairs of shoes. So I would have two of them, and I would hang them up side by side, okay? And then you would just like fold the shoes and stick them in there. They were clear, so two of those, that would hold 20 pairs of shoes. And then... Um, <clears throat> What else? Then I bought from Ikea that shoe rack that was like probably five bucks. I don't know. Everything at Ikea is super cheap. So I would put my shoes on there and hanging and then I would have a shelf on top and I would put my boots up there. So I would get like 10, 20, at least 25, 30 pairs of shoes I could display and see. That's a lot in a super tiny closet. Now my husband had to use another closet. That's another story, right? Like you need your own closet space, don't you? Okay, so the first thing is you have to purge. So um, what I do is, and I already did this the other day and I posted it on my personal page, but I'll go through um, like categories. So these are just my fitness shoes, I know. And here's the horrible thing is like these look brand new, but you know what, they hurt my feet. So it's like you can't look at how much you spent on them or how, many, how much you actually wore them or if they're still in style or if they look brand new. Number one, do they hurt your feet? If they do, get rid of them. I don't care how cute they are. Number two, when's the last time you've worn them? Six months to a year, I would say, boom, right? Six months to a year because sometimes it's seasonal, a seasonal shoe. So this is full, right? And then I have a second one that's full. And some of these I did wear a lot, okay? So you have to get that mentality out of 
keeping stuff. So I know these are these are cute. I don't know. But you know what? I don't wear them anymore. So two big bags. And then what I'll do is I'll either donate them. I'll give them to friends who wear my shoe size. I have sold them, like, either to resale shops. Um, there's an app on, on uh, your phone. I'm trying to remember what it's called. But you can sell clothes and shoes through that. I have, I have posted stuff on Facebook. And people are like, I want that, I want that, I want that. And believe it or not, it happens. It's true. So, um... First thing is purge because you're instantly going to feel like you lost five to ten pounds. You're going to be like, ha, ah, because now there's going to be room in your closet. And you're going to be like, ooh, that means I can go shopping and put something in that place, right? I don't know. That's terrible. That's how I think. So I do it in categories. So that's my fitness shoes. Then I'll go through my other shoes, right? And this is proof. This is just proof. This is proof that it's been done, you guys, okay? So, like, a lot of times you buy shoes online and they're, like, so cute online and then you get them and they just, you know, they, they, they kind of suck. So, these are, like, all my heels, pumps, wedges. Some of them are really old. Some of them, um, I just don't like the fit. Some of them, I just don't wear them. They look cute on the shelf, but you never wear them. Okay. So, <clears throat> go through your shoes and decide, number one, are you getting rid of them? Have a, a basket or a bag. I'm getting rid of these shoes. And then the ones maybe you're not sure about, put those in the middle. And then the ones that you are keeping. Now, you're going to do this because if you don't do this, then hello, it doesn't work. Put some music on, grab a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and make it fun. Okay. So now you have all the shoes that you are getting rid of and you feel like you've lost a couple of pounds and you're like, ha, ah, this is so awesome. Okay, so the next thing is sorting your shoes. So <clears throat> what I mean by that is either by like categorizing your shoes. So like, so this is my life right here pretty much, right? Like I either am in workout shoes or... <laughs> Like, I'm in a cocktail dress. This is my life right here. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, there's no in-between. Seriously. It's it's funny. Okay. So, um, what are your shoes? Like, I have a lot of fitness shoes because I don't wear the... I don't wear one pair all the time because that's how you get injuries, especially plantar fasciitis, is if you wear the same pair of shoes all the time. So, always have at least two pairs, if not three pairs, and interchange the shoes. Okay, so <clears throat> categorize them um, uh, by like heels, pumps, boots, um, workout shoes, and then also what I like to do is by seasons. So if you have a really small space and you don't have a lot of place to put your shoes, right now we're going in, we're in fall, we're going into winter, take out all of your summer shoes. And what I used to do is I used to buy those bins that go under your bed and I would put them all in those bins and put them under my bed. Because then you don't have a million pairs that you're looking at when you go to decide like what pair of shoes you're going to wear. Then you're, you have less is more and you're like, oh, okay. I only have five pairs of black pumps. This is this is going to be an easy decision, right? <laughs> so put away the other season's shoes under your bed. Get rid of them. Okay. Um, for me, I put my summer shoes, like my wedges and sandals and stuff like that. Right now I'm sticking them on the bottom where I pretty much won't see them. Okay. Or all the way up on the top. You can see I have some wedges up there. And then I have boots. My boots are over there. Okay, yeah, I know. I really feel like I don't have that that much. I wear them. So that's how I justify it. I wear them, right? Um, and then my last tip is put the, put the shoes that you do wear all the time, like your favorite go-to shoes, put those at eye level. Okay, or if it's not eye level, then like right in front where they're easily accessible and you're going to be able to grab and go your favorite ones. Because uh, um, a lot of times what I would tend to do is like put the really cute ones out in front that I never ever wore. Right. So I kind of switched that up. I just got these. I haven't worn them yet, but aren't these super cute? These are so cute. 
These are so cute. These are like so cute that you want to like create somewhere to go just so you can wear these. They're so cute, right? So I'm putting them out in front because that's exactly what I'm going to do. And when I do, I'll take a picture and share it with you. <laughs> um, but like my fall wedges and then my favorite fitness shoes. And then I just got these too. Aren't these super cute? I don't know how comfortable they are. And they're of course not functional. These like are just like running around in jeans wearing shoes. Cute. Um, but put your favorites in front and categorize them so all your heels are together all your wedges are together all your peep toes are together all your boots are together and it makes it feel like a store like you're walking into your favorite retail store and here's your favorite shoes right get rid of the ones that don't make you feel good or don't make you happy or you don't want to like put them on and go somewhere they don't get you excited there's other people that need what you are going to donate Okay, so this is kind of what I do all the time in all areas of my house. I don't know, it's it's this thing, but it makes me happy because I feel like I'm getting rid of clutter, I'm organizing, and when I need to move quickly, which is most of the time, I can find what I need. Um, and then I'm donating and I'm helping other people that... Um, can benefit from what I don't use or need anymore. So I do this with my girls' closets. I do it with my pantry. I do it in my kitchen with my dishes, my office, my paperwork. It's crazy bananas. But let me know what you thought of this, um, and let take a picture of your of your closet. Um, once you've done this and and you have. Um, decluttered your closet and it looks super cute and you now have a new love for the same shoes that you had before snap a picture below and let me know cheers you guys have a great night